when you're doing serious research, good help is hard to find. But I need good help. Hey guys, so with the announcement of Guild Wars 2 Path of Fire, the upcoming expansion for Guild Wars 2, I thought it'd be a great time to start doing uh, sort of beginner guides, sorry, I suppose, for Guild Wars 2. Uh, I know there was a comment there a while ago asking for this sort of thing. And I started making plans and I completely forgot it. Anyway, so today's episode is going to feature on Fractals. Fractals are a PvE dungeon style content, bridging the gap between 5 man dungeons and 10 man raids which are much tougher. Fractals are divided up into 4 tiers, Initiate, Adept, Expert and Master. Each of the tiers have 25 Fractals consisting of various repetitions of the 17 Fractals that there are. So what is a fractal? A fractal is a sliver of Tyrian history compiled into a short dungeon. These dungeons normally consist of a boss fight and some sort of narrative driving it forward, such as the Char invading Ascalon. The name fractal comes from the fractured history of Tyria, which is being shown through the fractals of the mist. As you increase the difficulty scale of the fractal, the enemies will get tougher and will require new bonuses called instabilities, such as leaving poison trails behind them or gaining boons when you attack them, meaning that the higher the scale of the fractal, the harder the fractal. The fractals will also begin to blur together as boss attacks and enemies from different fractals appear in the fractal that you are currently in. One of the main features of fractals is a mechanic known as agony. Agony begins to come into fractals at scale 20 and higher. It is a condition applied by kind of big attacks from bosses and enemies that takes away a percentage of your health every second. The percentage of health taken away by agony is dependent on the fractal scale. It increases each fractal level and the max is 150 agony. So to resist Agony, you will need Agony Infusions. These are awarded for completing Fractals, or can be bought for gold and are combined to make stronger Infusions. Infusions can be combined at the Infuse 5959 merchant, and are infused into weapons and armor by dragging the infusions onto what you want to infuse. You can extract old infusions with an infusion extraction device. Make sure to do this before you change the stats of any equipment as stat changing process deletes infusions. Much like the fractals themselves, the fractal lobby is a series of islands all broken up and dispersed. You can get to them using jump pads on the ground and they hold various items such as the portal to fractals, a fractal training area, a jumping puzzle and a few shops and merchants. The most important of these islands is probably the merchant island where you have your trading post your bank and you can get potions that will help you in the fractals of the mist you've got kind of defensive bonuses and movement bonuses and things like that from Dessa's alchemist ascended rings can be bought from by 2046 the third island has two things of interest a jumping puzzle and a little arena where you can summon golems much like in the raid test area these two features are great for either passing the time or, you know, something to do while you're waiting for pokes to arrive. Fractals give really great rewards, especially for players trying to gear their first level 80 character. By completing your daily fractal achievements, you'll get rewards including ascended armor and weapon chests, as well as agony and fusions to help you progress into the higher level fractals. All in all, Fractals are great endgame content, providing rewards to help gear your character and providing challenging 5-man dungeon style content. Thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to subscribe for more Guild Wars content in the future and leave a comment of any topics you'd like me to cover in any future guides. Take care.